Doesn't get very far as O'Neill takes him. Kiss to Ford. Ford a long one to Kenny. Kenny, long ball, it's gone astray. Well picked up by Ferguson. Bounced awkwardly for him, picked it up cleanly. Ford. Bringing West inside, striding through powerfully. Oh, and Donlan couldn't take it, unfortunately. It's work to win this advantage. As Burke tries to come through the wiggle, managed to get his pass in. And Wigan are in quickly to smother him. Good covering tattle by Kenny. O'Neill coming in hard, gets a little bit high there, gives him the chance to get rid of the ball. Well moved on by Ruane. Gets it on to Sorison, the big overlap here. And there's a break here by Winners, and Wigan in a lot of trouble as Winners go turning for the line and the cover goes across and sticks it up. But Wigan had been split wide open now. It's Winners hot on the attack. A lock in, a long pass on to Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse, another long pass over the fly kick through to Wigan, and Wigan will be glad to get that one. The other players. Bit short of match, Bright says Kiss. Case comes trying to clear his line, short pass on to Kiss. Kiss dumbing, dragging his way up to the 25 line. Rowan pulling hard at him. Ford lobs it back onto Whitfield. Long ranging kick that. Leiden manages to not keep it in play, knocks it back to Burke. Burke running it out. Stevenson's up there, gets away from Stevenson, and Edwards comes across, takes him low and hard round the hips. O'Loughlin moves it on to Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse misses the ball, gets it at the second attempt. And the standoff and trying to break through again. Myler gets away. On to Sorensen and Wigan in trouble again. As Sorensen turning it inside, there's plenty of support there. And can Wigan hold them? Covers there. And the ball's been lost right on the Wigan line. Well, Wigan were extremely fortunate there to hold them out. Death takes him cleanly, so Wigan got away from that desperate situation. Once again, winners have pushed back, but they've been coming very strongly down the middle. There's been a bit of weakness in the middle in Wigan's defence. Mile have been coming through very, very strongly and cutting Wigan wide open. Now they try to stretch it out the left, and there's a gap as they attack down this wing. Couldn't get the ball back inside as Lachlan came in. Fieldhouse, short pass from behind the play. The ball, Sorensen coming terribly strongly. Great run by Sorensen. And West goes in, wraps him, but he gets his pass in. Onto O'Neill, O'Neill onto O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin coming straight. He's going to be buried by Kenny and Case, but they're having a job putting him down. He's proving strong and a handful. Rugby Union play the advantage just a little bit longer, and I think perhaps if that had been... Uh, the rug game of rugby union Wigan would have got the, the penalty kick, even though they'd knocked on. However, it's Hume to feed the scrum, and it's coming out to Hume. Out to Myler. Myler on to Burke. Burke coming strongly. Lobs a high pass, and there's dangerous line goes for the corner. Falls across and lines into the corner to open the score. Wigan split wide open on this wing as they lobbed a long pass out to Leiden. Who showed his strong finishing power to dive over in the corner? To Ford, to Courtney, back on to Ford. Ford to, there's a gap as it goes to Kenny. Kenny tries to turn inside, gets it on to Case. Case goes short one on to Potter. Potter going for the line and he's held a yard short. Well, the gap was there. Wigan couldn't capitalise as they tried to batter the way over. Wasted tattle one fields there, so close to the line. They're going to have to move it. The ball been a bad pass. Wigan done well to take that as the ball rolled along the floor. To Ford. Ford holding it. Out to Kenny. Kenny see, trying to dive through. Myler has him. And there's a knock on in the play of the ball. In the play of the ball. Referee said he knocked on on the floor. Kenny won't be too happy about that. Well, the gap was there then, you could see it from up here, and Wigan went through it, just couldn't get over the line. Foot or so short. Hume to put the ball in. In it goes, penalised for incorrect feeding. Ford wanted to get on with it quickly, but the ball's been thrown away. Ten yards out. Kiss, Wigan doing a run around as Kiss gets it to Potter, Potter to Kenny. Kenny sees a gap, he's taken from behind, throws the ball back. Wigan keeping it moving. They've got Whitfield going for the line as his ankle's tapped. Wigan turning on the pressure now as it comes on to Ford. Back inside to Wayne, Wayne going hard and that's good tattling by Witness. But Wigan are really piling on the pressure now. Five yards out from the line, it goes to Ford, Ford holding it. On to West, West pass has been intercepted. 
And we're back to one. We're going to have got the ball back. Gets trying to go on his own onto West. West trying to bat his way over the line. Gets it onto Stevenson. And Stevenson is smothered. Ford. Long one along the floor. Courtney can't take it cleanly. Picked up at the second attempt by Potter. From the biggest passing, a little bit wild. It goes to Case. Case turning it back inside. Ford gets it onto Potter. Potter onto West. West trying to go through. Smothered with the ball. Case. Switch direction to Potter. Potter going hard for the line and he's knocked down. That's the fifth tattle. As Kiss comes over, Kiss on to Ford. Ford hoists one, a high one, right underneath the post. Kenny's up there, ball's loose. Picked up by Wigan. Still trying to keep the ball moving as Donlan gets the ball going. Gets it out to Kenny, Kenny going for the line. And Dummy's his way and he's over. Beautiful Dummy from Kenny. Now the combination with Donlan. And the Wigan attack has paid off. Well, that was a lovely dummy by Kenny to level the score for Wigan. Tremendous roar of applause from this crowd. A good crowd here tonight for this derby match. And Wigan are back in the game. Ruain comes up. Onto her. Her holding it. O'Neill trying to drive through. Wigan not smothering him. Still on his feet and eventually he's rolled over. Ruane to Whitfield. Whitfield running at Wigan. Wigan going and put him down well. Ruane again waiting behind to play the ball. Dumming with it. Switches, brings it back inside. And Wigan moving in and holding them well at the moment. Witness a bit bogged down in the Wigan 25 at the moment. As it comes out onto Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse coming in strong. Case takes him. Lobbed back onto Myler. Myler holding it. Turning it inside onto Whitfield. Whitfield can't get rid of the ball, and that's the fifth tackle, 10 yards out from the Wigan line. Flung onto the hooker away, and a high one over the Wigan try line. Oh, and Wigan were fast asleep there. Given the try, Wigan stood and watched that ball. Wayne passed away, and a judge forward, 10 yards out, right underneath the sticks. Hume to put it in. Wigan's ball comes out onto Whitfield. Whitfield goes to the line, brings Stevenson inside, goes to the line. Powerful in, he's held a yard short. Kiss, long one. West slips a bit, coming back inside. Put Crowd rolling, Wigan on. As Kiss does a switch with Potter, Potter going for the line, as his ankle knocked from under him. Comes out to Ford, Ford to Kenny. Kenny on to Whitfield, Whitfield back on to Kenny. Kenny go bring Edwards inside, Edwards going for the line. Kenny, and he has his ankles once again, his feet knocked from under him. Ankle tapped. On to Graham West, Graham West gets it on to Wayne. Wayne trying to force his way over, that's the fifth tattle. Inches short of the line, on the last tattle. Long one. Gone astray, there's a gap, Potter gets it out. If Wigan can keep it moving, but the ball's gone astray to Ferguson. Has he the strike? And he's in. He's in. Well, Wigan were lucky in some ways with a bad pass that rolled along the floor. But it was strong finishing by Ferguson to put Wigan back into the lead. And this game is ebbing and flowing, end to end stuff. Ruane, O'Neill coming straight and hard, uh, Whitfield rather, Whitfield stopped dead in his tracks by the Wigan players. Witness keeping it tight in the forwards as Sorensen is tattled. Now it's Fieldhouse's turn, trying to drive forward, get managed to get his pass in, ball's gone loose, that's Wigan, comes to Kiss, Kiss glad to save possession for Wigan. Edwards gone up behind the play of the ball, hands it on to Ford. Ford a long pass to Kenny, has Whitfield with him. Kenny, Whitfield's linked up well, made a beautiful break. Can't get his pass and he's passed to Courier. 
Oh, I went astray. And they're going for Hooter for half time. Referee says play on till the next stoppage. And Wigan won't stop there, which caused a lot of trouble. And that stitched it up. Whitfield looking a little bit shaken after that clean break that he made, rather winded, but been an exciting close. Good first half, 25. And it's Case doing the grafting work, coming forward again. A good 15, 20 yards of ground. Good, powerful run by Case. Crowd liked that one. Comes out to Ford, onto Potter. Out to Kenny. Kenny, quick one onto Stevenson. Stevenson to makes a dummy, making a break. Out to Ferguson. Ferguson go for the line. Did he make? Can he beat the defence? Comes inside and Burke has him, but Wigan gained a lot of ground. Donnan up to Kenny. Kenny up to West. West going for the line. Back up to West. And he's in. And Wigan got an early try on the board in the second half. Mainly Jules, well set up by a good run by Stevenson. And Ferguson scooting down this wing. We're not down very well, but they managed to get the ball out. Goes on to Kenny. Kenny does a gap a mile wide as Whitfield comes down the middle. As Edwards and Stevenson with him, he straightens up over the halfway line. The cover shepherded him well there, so eventually he got into no man's land where he couldn't pass to anybody. Now Potter coming, taking them on, coming hard and straight. Edwards out. Long one to Kenny. Kenny out onto West. West going back down the middle. Arms are locked. He's looking for support, but they're watching him like a hawk to make sure he doesn't give it. And there's a bit of lion arm at this time. West plays it himself. Drives forward. On to Kiss. Kiss going hard. And Ferguson was following, but he couldn't get the ball out to him. Ferguson dummying from behind to play the ball. Caught by Currier. That's the fifth tackle. 18 minutes of this half gone. Woods comes charging forward. Wayne hangs on to him. Witness on their own 25. Myler has been the danger man. Brings Fieldhouse inside. Suicide pass. Bit of indecision there as it goes to Whitfield. And a very poor witness line out. They've nobody out on the left wing. Ball flung back and here comes the kick behind the defence. Whitfield should have this comfortably. It sits up for him in his own 25. Running it out. Side steps beautifully. Good run inside to Ferguson. Plenty cover there as Wood comes over to put him down. But that was a nice run by Whitfield. For the tunnel. Kiss not down. Wiggins coming out. Wiggins side out to Kenny. Kenny holding it onto Whitfield. Whitfield keeping it tight, brings Donlan inside on a very short pass. Ferguson running from acting half back, running a bit cross field. Kiss has come up, and now Wigan look to be badly bunched as Wayne decides he's going to come out and puts his shoulder in, dragging his way forward. Game a little bit off the boil at the moment, a bit scrappy. All sorts of little niggly things going on as Case comes in, uses his hand off, gets it onto West. West getting a line moving. Ford onto Kenny. Kenny short pass. Whitfield streaking through. What a turn of speed. Can he make the line? The lock. Can he had him from behind, but he came through beautifully. And a penalty to Wigan for lying on. And uh, reach out, smother him, not on it up, push him back to the line. Witness forward's going to have to graft here, going across the field, John Fieldhouse, not getting any ground. Wigan holding them there. Forward's coming, ploughing forward, and Graham West into the tattle. Ruane waiting behind to play the ball. Burke is up there, ready for the kick. As Myler puts a dangerous little overhead kick in there. Kiss can't reach it, fell badly for him. As there's come powering through there, dangerous those little kicks for Wigan. The line up very close. Now Ruan gets Fieldhouse moving. Fieldhouse turns it back inside to Myler. Myler managed to let the ball go. Witness now trying to keep it moving. Whitfield the long one on to Woods. Woods on to Stockley. Donnelly on, handing it, hanging on to him, puts him down. 
and kisses in there after the ball as ever, wanting to get on with it. Courier puts an overhead kick in again. And Courtney not got it. Winders getting it moving. Leiden puts a kick in here. Danger in the chase, but Leiden so fast. Can't get to the ball. The ball's loose. Winders have it right on the Wigan line. Well, they were nearly all over then. Ball's played back. Long pass. This could stretch the Wigan defence. As Marley lobs it out. Out goes out onto Curry coming inside. Wigan coverage there, gets it out to the wing. And Burke is in in the corner. Well, for 90% of this game so far, it's all within the Widners 25. They make one break out, and it's typical of Widners, and they score. Wigan 16, Widners 12. And we can play the man short at the moment. Ferguson receiving attention. Kiss. Driving forward. Gain a good ten yards of ground. Good valuable ten yards. Ford. Now it's Courtney's turn. And nearly had his head knocked off. Still managing to keep going. While passing by Wigan on their own 25. Donlan recovered. Makes a beautiful break. A great run by Donlan. Tremendous amount of ground gained from nothing. Sets Wigan up now, can Wigan keep it moving? And there's a break as the case gets it out to Kenny. Kenny's still dancing his way. Wigan back in an attack. Back deep in the witness half. Kenny looking shaken as Wayne decides he's going to have a break. And he's still going hard up to the 25 line. Fifth tattle. As case comes up to acting half back. Long lob pass on to Potter. Potter onto Donlan. Donlan puts a little grubber kick in. Being chased and covered by Widnes. There are too much and not enough for Billy Boston's best bidder. That's always the diagnosis. Are there too much and not enough? Now, can we can get this one out? And it shoots out. Ford has it onto Kenny, and there's a gap. Kenny going on his own, going for the line. And he's held just short. Just didn't quite have the legs. Witness line on a little bit. Wigan try to force the way over and he's over. That's it, that seals the game. Potter. Potter goes over from after a good run by Kenny. Potter forced his way over from acting half back. Ford to feed. Packs all over the place. Ford gets possession. All he can. Managed to roll it out onto Stevenson. Stevenson dummying, trying to come through. Covers there to take him. Sean Edwards gone to act in half back. Comes inside to Kenny. Kenny sees a gap beautifully through it. Breaks, runs into Fieldhouse. Ford, Ford hands it on to Courtney. Courtney is short past to West. West coming hard. Times it. On to Donlan, Donlan coming inside, proving a handful. They're having a job holding him. Eventually, three of them force him down. Ferguson coming to act in half back. Decides he's going to have a run on his own. He's made a break. Up the fullback. He's right in the fullback. What a tremendous run. A great individually stride by Ferguson from acting half back. They just couldn't get a finger on him. Like Quicksilver, he went through. A fine, fine individual try. Running the witness that noses into the ground. 26 points to 12. And that was a beautiful run by Ferguson. What a pity we won't have him for the end of the season. He's such a menace. He's so lightning off the mark. That explosive power when he sets off. Leaves them standing, absolutely stranded. Right on time, this kick. Of normal time, there may be injury time. As Whitfield bangs it over to make it 28. 28-12. Windus thoroughly beaten team now.